I think so. I'm not an expert over time, you know, of all the contents uh, for the past 30 to 40 years, but I think there were some phases where at the beginning when Korea started to export its contents to more to the Chinese uh, region or to the uh, northeastern uh, Asian region and not globally yet. Maybe at the time, you know, the K-dramas were more like love stories or very romantic stories and maybe the social, you know, the, the, the sh social criticism was not really present at the time. It was more, you know, stories that could attract maybe a certain categories of women or young youngsters. And I think over time, over time, the the, 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 probably the K-contents gained some maturity and started to depict a, a various, you know, a big, bigger variety of, of topics. So, of course, you still have the romantic, uh, you know, uh, a cheesy a bit stories, but at the same time, it is true that you see an evolution in the way uh, the, the criticism that was always present in the Korean cinema, because when you look at the movies, like you know, like Old Boy from Park Chan-wook, or even, you know, horror movie like The Host, or this kind of, of blast train for Pusan, for example, they already carried, even though they were speaking of zombies or you know monsters, they already carried a lot of social criticism. But so I think this is moving to the to the K drama um, uh, contents, and I was really you know very interested recently because I watched the Wu Yong Wu uh, uh, a TV series, and I think you know Wu Yong Wu is not very popular in Europe, in France, if the, the interest had not been created by very successful TV series like Squid Game, who really created this you know, new attention and new interest to know more about Korean society. So I think that you know, the sequence uh, is, is important, and the reason why now uh, Korean contents can really carry other messages that are more subtle is also because there were more you know, sort of global uh, marketing related successes like, like Squid Game, who made it also possible. So much of Korean drama is so good at taking genre that was established by Hollywood and pushes it further. So you take something like Extraordinary Attorney Woo, it's a romantic comedy, and it's a legal drama, and it's a feel-good story about a woman with autism. It's so many things at once. You take something like Par uh, Parasite, which is a cutting social comedy of manners and also an incredibly brutal <laughs> horror movie. It, it manages to be all of these things. It, it, it combines genres seamlessly in dramatic and fresh ways. Something else is um, I think that Hollywood was very, very good for many, many years at, pre at capturing a mood, at presenting... Um, presenting something that people around the world could relate to, and it was a kind of optimism and a hopefulness and something that people, no matter where you lived, could relate to. I think Korean cultural production right now is this, this strain that you're talking about of cultural critique, of protest, of resistance, of dissatisfaction, is something that people around the world are also relating to right now, that there is a capturing of a global mood that I don't think any other country has been able to put their finger on quite as adroitly. And why was it possible? Why is the, 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 you know, the contents, why do they speak to the whole world? Well, the, the Korean you know, history is so idiosyncratic, it's so specific. That's a, a something, you know, uh, a sort of a miracle. Like the colonization, I mean, has been a very, uh, has been a very, um, very hard period, very, um, there's a lot of suffering and still things are not fully, um, uh, solved now because you know this memory work on the memory of the the country has not been fully closed, and so I think this creates you know uh, uh, probably uh, an inside wound in the whole Korean people that brings this amazing creativity because they're still suffering to express they're still rage to express and this is probably you know the best ferment of creativity when you have something that you know makes you suffer but that you want to externalize. And, and, and deliver a message to the world with that suffering, I think it's something very po powerful.